we're, we're all seeing a declining of promoting or learning the real traditional Chinese martial art. So in our generation, and from generation to generation, each dynasty or each era has different culture, different rules. Um, you know, for example, China's, China went through the Cultural Revolution. Obviously, there's a limitation in spreading. And now, to our generation, we have the, the resource of internet and the power of internet. So we're trying to figure out an effective way uh, instead of to say, okay, this has to be so basso, right, to gel. Uh, we try to embrace technology and find a solution. And so far, it's, uh, it's positive. Um, trying to promote it via the internet. A silk reeling, okay, chan, nei chan, and when you push, your forearm twist, but there's a counter force here on your around your elbow that's forbidden you to push straight, but that this kind of locks, that's your energy locks here. That's what you want to achieve from here, and this hand too. We don't want to jump, we can simply do this, right, but that's empty. Integrate with your quad, foot, it's all these right? resistant being parried to the other side regain that the out is very fast uh, it has been it has been uh, surprisingly good obviously I don't uh, traditionally teach uh, you know through internet through remote but we had no choice during the pandemic so we had I started a platform called uh, Baji Su, uh, which is the same material where we learned from Wu Tan but it's because I'm trying out new things so so we are we create another entity to try this new method. Um, so we have students from Romania, we have students from Denmark, uh, from Holland, from uh, South America, all over the world, from Malaysia. Um, so they all come together because there's a limitation of access to good teacher or good schools. So first off, all these students are very dedicated. And I think that is one of the keys that is one of the keys to uh, to have a good, you know, transition from of the art of the knowledge is the dedicated from the teacher and the dedicated from uh, students. You have to make sure there is that also this angle. So not just you're dipping here. You need this angle too. So it's it's three dimensional. You don't just dip it here. You only dip it in the center if you're doing liao, mm -hmm. right? Or else you keep it at this angle. So you're protected. I mean, it's called Ba Ji Su, right? So the goal is to study and to evolve and try to try to promote Ba Ji Chun. So all these art, as we believe that, you know, all arts comes at the end of the day, they come to the same, the same goal. But each of different styles uh, offers different aspect of things, different focus. So that's my way to speed up the traditional training. Uh, if you focus on one art, you may not have you may have, you know, dabble into multiple different aspects of martial art, but you have a main focus. So it takes time to dabble, to touch on, to touch onto all the all the topics and points in training. 
So through different styles, uh, each style has different focus. You may have, we may have uh, the opportunity to speed up a lot of the different focus by stimulating almost. Sometimes, you know, different styles are, are completely different, but they actually stimulate in, uh, in a positive and progressive way. It is very important, and I think especially for non-Chinese-speaking uh, students, um, instead of naming the form, um, movement one, two, three, four, which I know some teachers do, just to keep it easy. But the traditional names uh, does come with a lot of value to understand uh, why it was named this way. And sometimes when you dig deeper, some of the characters have discrepancies between over time, even among the Chinese, like Yunso. Right, Yunso can be a cloud hand, or it could be a plow hand. So both words are correct because both touch on different, that you can tell whoever changed that character has a different understanding. So it's very interesting to understand the thinking behind uh, some of these ancestors and also to, to study a uh, different way of thinking as well on the, on the same movement, right? So those are ways that I think our modern, as, as modern uh, practitioners can, uh, we have the freedom to, to think otherwise. In the old days, you can't. Your teacher would be like, this is it. So, so uh, yeah, I mean, martial arts should be ever evolving. It shouldn't stop. But we should carry what we learn um, in the original format, learn the whole thing in order to uh, reinvent or invent. Thank you. 